In order to compile and execute this specific code via the command line, we first need to open the command line. I will move to the folder where this specific file is located. Now, in order to compile, I just need to type Java C uh, and the name of the source code file. But in order to have Java C uh, feasible for execution from this uh, folder, I first need to update the path, the system environment, the path system environment to include <coughs> the path to the specific bin folder of the JDK we want to use. And we shall add, append this in order to keep all uh, current list of paths uh, unchanged. <coughs> now we can move forward and compile. The next step will be to start the Java DB server. Well, in my case I have the Java DB installed on C and since I have some security restrictions I shall copy it to E. I already did it and um, over here we can find uh, the Java DB on E. In order, to in order to start the server of the Java DB and Java DB and Derby DB, uh, those two are nearly the same. In order to start running it, I just find the bin folder and here, here I can find the start network server batch file double click and I get a command line window where uh, the server of the um, Derby DB or Java DB or those are the same is up and running uh, ready to accept connections on port 1527 now the next step will be to execute the standalone application we have just uh, compiled. Well, here there is another thing we need to do. If we take a look at the code, we can see that it uses a class which is not a standard one. Uh, the client driver or its full qualified name org.apache org.apache.derby.jdbc.client driver, this uh, specific uh, class is part of a group of classes uh, a group of classes we use as the JDBC dri driver required for connecting our program with the Derby database server we can find the jar file that includes that specific file as well as all others inside the lib folder the lib folder of the Java DB and here we can find the derby client jar file <coughs> if you try to extract the files from this specific uh, jar file either using a winzip utility or the jar utility you shall get lots of uh, files uh, organized in a uh, folders one of them will be the file of this specific class so Let's update the class path with the path to the specific jar file we want to use. Let's don't forget to keep everything we have unchanged. Having this change, we can move forward and execute our code. <coughs> 